Hello everyone, this is our new irregular crypto not for dummies show, and I am its host Mr. Smart Contract Teach, and my colleague, Mr. Ethereach. Roll the intro. What is GameFi? It's somewhere between Wi-Fi and GameFi. I think all of you in one way or another played MMORPG or Lineage. Everyone farmed gold or traded at the auction and wonder how cool it would be if it was not just an in-game economy, but if it could go somewhere outside the boundaries of the game. Imagine if World of Warcraft gold could be traded on cryptocurrency exchanges. Still, there was a grey economy in the game. You may all remember characters like the Elf Merchant, who made a fortune on the resale of gold coins. In general, everyone remembers the hype around the auction houses in WoW. This is just a natural development of the gaming industry, which is now merging with the industry of decentralized finance. Such games appear now. I think this is a fairly organic development of what we have had in the gaming industry. At the same time, you should not include GameFi casinos and similar sites, because in fact they do not belong there. GameFi emerged eight years ago. Why did the project become popular just now? Bitcoin came to life eight years ago, and it seems to me that GameFi emerged only now, in its current form, because in order for GameFi to appear, it was necessary to develop cryptocurrency technology and the blockchain technology on which it is now built. What opportunities did we have with Bitcoin eight years ago? You could buy coins for cryptocurrency, spend all them in the game, and that's it. Now GameFi makes it possible to reverse the process. The coins earned in the game can be brought to the exchange, sold, and you can get real fiat money for them. And for fiat money you can buy yourself a beer and continue playing. Or for some developing economies, such as for the Philippines, this is a real alternative and salvation. People there can earn enough money, say from $500 to $1,000 per month, and live on this money. In the Philippines, the Axie Infinity token is used as a means of payment in markets. This is a merger of the game economy and the real economy. At the same time, last year in the Philippines, these tokens became so popular that the local tax authorities had to intervene, because in some places they removed local money from circulation. The coronavirus hit the Philippines very hard, and people who had no income left, no tourists left, they switched to games. Some of them earned from $50 a day just by spending time in the game. I think that $50 a day is not bad for the CIS, and for Asia it is also quite decent money with which you can feed your family. Here, we see the application of game mechanics and decentralized finance in real life. It is decentralization at its best. <laughs> 